and there's real frustration in Mac Jones. You know, yes, the game ends up okay and he's happy, but we saw many clips there where he's you could tell it's it's a different guy than last year. He's not he's he's annoyed with the process. He's annoyed with the offense in general. Nothing's easy, right? That's that's the problem. And then, you know, even I look at them on defense where, like you said, it's it's a good defense, but it's not great. Right. Like, here's the end of the game because, hey, I've I've been mother effing you the whole game and I've been frustrated, but now we're going to win. So I'll get over that we weren't that good on the offensive side of the ball and we'll come together for a hug. I mean, that's what that moment was. But, you know, then even in the defense, the defense is, hey, the pass rush looked great. I get that all night and all that, but uh, they're just... They don't seem to be as creative on that side of the ball either because I think Belichick's probably helping out more with the offense. I don't see watch Patriots film this year and go, oh, whoa, look at this, this game plan here, this is crazy. So, yeah, they, they, they're they a different organization and they're in a weird spot right now and it kind of seems like it's at a spot where Bill is – you know, on his way out the door the next two or three years, and that's why he didn't want to hire an offensive coordinator. But, man, they got to do something, and that's where I would think Billy O'Brien's going to be back in the building when the season's over to help out that side of the ball because they need it. I don't care, you know, how good a coach Patricia or Joe Judge are. Yeah, that keeps bubbling up more and more, this idea of Bill O'Brien, who's currently at Alabama, rejoining the Patriots after the season ends for Alabama and who knows maybe I, I can't imagine him rejoining immediately after the Alabama season ends I think it's for 2023 but crazier well, things have indeed occurred well, one I, point on go ahead yeah go ahead I was gonna say one thing with just with no, Mac I, Jones I can tell you're ready to say something. well sorry yeah the thing and two I just wanted to say this at the end and I forgot Mike it's just that you know this doesn't this isn't doing uh, justice to Mac Jones and why you drafted him. That That's to me, you drafted Mac Jones because of why. You know that he could take high-level coaching and high-level points of a Josh McDaniel offense, and like a Brady, he can do all the stuff at the line of scrimmage and then process it uh, as soon as the ball snapped and, oh, wait, they changed the coverage, and, wait, you told me what to do when they changed the coverage, and he's the ultimate robot that way. He's not, hey, let's just dumb it down and play simple, and this guy will just put us on his back and carry us with great physical ability. No, that's not what he is. We know that. He's a guy that when you give him a great offense with a ton of answers, he can get to all those answers and answer them right, and he can do more with less that way. But this way is more like, oh, hey, we got a great quarterback and he'll just throw lasers and he'll escape the pocket a few times and we don't need to be totally creative. And that's not what Mac Jones is. And to me, that just that doesn't line up to why they drafted him. And that, that makes no sense to me. You used the term robot in reference to Mac Jones. And we have seen Mac Jones and other Patriots be what I call the Stepford Patriots because they never say anything yeah. they shouldn't. And it was that Thursday name against Buffalo where we saw Mac Jones right. with some aggressive profanity during the game and after the game they were so upset that they they like short-circuited the wiring and they were actually saying what they really believe can yeah. you imagine right. a Patriots player actually saying what he believes let's have a listen to him after last night's game did he say what he believed on the question of whether he was frustrated again with the Patriots offense here he is no um I think the biggest thing for me is not letting it affect my play and bringing the best out of my guys. So today I thought we all did a good job with trying to play the next play, play the next series, and um, Matty P did a great job. He's trying to call the game so that we can win. And sometimes it might be this thing that people don't know about, like the quick passes for whatever reason, and that's our game plan. So we knew that's what we had to do to win, and he called a great game and um, stayed calm. Matty P is a very calm person, very stoic, and. Um, we're just going to continue to grow together and, and do what we can to win games. He stays very calm when I'm shouting profanities at him from five feet away. He's very <laughs> calm in the face uh, of that. Look, I, I think Bill Belichick got the screwdriver and there's the little you know, the control panel here in the back. And they, 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 they just adjusted a few things on Mac Jones. They got him back, back in line when it's time to speak publicly about the offense. But that frustration has been there all year. Yes. During the Bailey Zappi weirdness that feels like it was 10 years ago, 
I kept hearing Mac Jones is upset because he had one year under Josh McDaniels. Yep. And now McDaniels is out. And are you kidding me? I'm going to have my career put in the hands of a former defensive coordinator and a former special teams coordinator, both of whom whom were fired as head coaches. That's my new offensive coach. Oh, yeah. That's the guy that's going to help get my career to the next level. He was pissed about that. No no doubt. Just as pissed. There's a duality to Mac Jones. It's this Clark Kent Superman thing. There is. You're when right. When he's out there on the field, he's willing to F-bomb the hell out of you. And then when it's time to go, he, 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 can, he can hold it together. But he was pissed. And when I see those moments like we saw last night and in the prior game, yep. it confirms it. Right. He's not happy with what's going on. No. And that's another thing that needs to be fixed this offseason. He's not going to continue to deal with this. So – to, to your point about Bill O'Brien, they got to do something yeah. to make that offense better and help Mac Jones develop his career the way that he wants it. Right. To and develop. I think it filters into the offseason, Mike, to your point. You you talked about it. You were kind of I know you were on this, yes. at, you know, early on. And, you know, I had people that I know and, and throughout the business who who kind of informed me that, no, this he was he was not pleased and he could see the writing on the wall in, in the spring and the early summer. And he was voicing a displeasure there as well. And I think, again, that was maybe part of the reason we felt like the Patriots were sticking it to him a little bit during that injury process, too. Because I think of some of that off-season whatever, you know, complaining, just being a little bitter, whatever it was, whatever, however you want to classify it. I think there was a little bit of, yeah, you know, getting back at him there with that situation. But there's how could he not be? Again, you could say what you want about Josh McDaniels, the head coach and all that. The offensive coordinator we know is is next level. And he was and always had trick plays and creative screens and all those, anything that helped the quarterback out, let alone a great drop back pass offense. And right now we're watching the Patriots go and, well, let's see, maybe they can get a first down here and get a, get a drive going. I mean, that's where we're at with the Patriots. Oh, whoa. Hey, look at this. Whoa. They got two or three first downs. They're, they're going to go down the field and score now. Like th- that's where we are with the Patriots offense. And that's, that's just weird after 22 years of, you know, them just moving the ball down on everybody pretty consistently. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.